new tonight. We're hearing from the man at the center of a use of force video on social media involving Tallahassee police. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ava Van Valen and I'm Channing Frampton. Jacquez Kirkland is the man in that video. As he shares his stories tonight, faith leaders are calling for more transparency about what happened that led to those moments Sunday night, starting with the release of body camera video. ABC 27's Christian Thomas joins us live now and Christian faith leaders and the man both addressing the police with very different message. Well, Kirkland is the man in that eight second clip. He showed up to today's press conference looking to tell his side of the story. Faith leaders uh, talking to police, like you said, looking to ramp up efforts working with the city so that in incidents like this won't happen again. A warning to you, the video you may see uh, may be disturbing. After I got put in handcuffs, I was trying to tell the lady that it hurt it really bad and that she put the handcuffs on tight. But I guess she didn't hear me and wasn't trying to hear it. So afterwards, when I, I tensed up my arm to suppress the pain from what she had did. Jack West Kirkland is the man seen on the ground in this video. It shows one Tallahassee police officer hitting Kirkland with a baton multiple times as two other officers try to hold him down. Next thing you know, she took me to the ground and other officers that was there had came and they came on my back. And I was trying to um, tell them that they was hurting me and adjust myself, but they didn't do anything. Next thing you know, I was getting beaten. TPD says the officer's actions were justified under use of force policy. Kirkland failed a sobriety test after being pulled over. Police say he was found asleep behind the wheel outside of a business on Tennessee Street. TPD says after Kirkland failed the test, he was then asked to take a breathalyzer and refused. That's when officers put him under arrest. They say he grabbed an officer's ballistic vest and refused to give them his other hand, which was underneath him. And that's when things escalated. TPD answers to Deputy City Manager Cynthia Barber. Barber says she's seen the body cam footage and also believes officers were justified. It was active resistance. The, the bottom line was the young man did not want to be handcuffed and he made every effort not to do so, including at some point holding a female officer's shirt and vest in his grasp. Uh, also kicking. Wednesday, Tallahassee ministers and community leaders came together asking for transparency after the department said it would not release the body cam video at this time to the public. We ask you to give truth, give revelation. Judy Mandrell is among the ministers who believe it would help keep the peace. Pull this community together and not to pull it apart. That body cam video and store surveillance are now set to go to the Citizens Police Review Board and TPD Citizens Advisory Committee for review. Now, Christian, we know Kirkland is sharing his story. Is he taking any other steps? Right. Well, Kirkland is being represented by attorney Mutaki Akbar, and he tells me they're going to wait and see. It's too soon to make any, uh, you know, decision on whether they're going to take legal action. They need to look at the use of force policy, especially when it comes to the use of the baton. Live in Tallahassee, Christian Thomas, ABC 27.